Iron Knight, welcome back to be a werewolf. And um, let me just say, the first clip is uh, going to be weird because we found something very interesting. What the fuck? Wait, what? What the hell? Wait, is he attacking us from up here? What the fuck? How? How? What in the world? How in the hell is that yeah. happening? What the fuck? How is they attacking us already? Well, it's a good thing. Good thing we don't have our stuff. But so the video is going to be extremely, extremely sped up at this point because um, one thing for sure is that um, we have done a lot of things. One, we had to smell the majority of our stuff um, because it took so long to get everything once we came back up to the surface. And, um, of course, as we were recording, um, <laughs> our friends were literally in the background just keep talking. So uh, I had to make sure that was completely out. But also... Um, while we're in the midst of this, I wanted to actually specifically talk about this um, before getting strictly into the um, bread and butter of things. Because we not only discovered a glitch in the entire thing, because obviously um, I'm pretty sure this was due to the fact that we were literally... Um, we put on, um, we did technically turn on cheats, but we only kept, put, kept inventory on because we realized that, uh, no offense, but these, uh, <laughs> these motherfuckers were just not going to let us go by any chance. So, um, we only put on keep inventory. We didn't do anything else. Um, we didn't do anything else, just that. So we decided to go on ahead and then just decide to hunt. But here's where things got interesting. So um, when I came back to this situation, I recognized a particular structure near our camp that was filled with gravel, mud bricks, and a lot of other things. And um, we did some discovery um, off camera because we realized that it was too much. One, two, we realized it was a lot to discover because... Um, off camera, we found a few things that were dug up between this structure. Um, we found a loom. We found a crafting table. And we found a furnace. We did not know what this was about. It was just dug up here and nothing was said. So I was very confused on why this was a thing. Because we didn't, like, we didn't have a clue why this was here. So, um... It was interesting. We didn't find anything particularly interesting on it. Maybe you guys might have an idea of what's going on. Maybe this is part of the update or some shit. I don't know. Because, again, I don't know what this is. We just found the structure, like, around it. It was just very, very, very weird. So we kept digging the entire time. And it was just an odd thing, I would say. Um, and I didn't know why. Because for some odd reason, we were just literally digging this up. Nothing was showing up. So we were just... Literally, literally just digging as much as we possibly can, um, and that was it. So, um, that's why I just went there and just literally did not bother by doing all this shit, because I realized, like, hey, we have to go ahead and do all these things. Um, but this was also one of the few reasons why it was very hard for us to, like, literally do anything else, because we were kind of stuck, in a sense. But the reason it was very, very, very weird was because... One thing for sure is that when we did make sure we came back about these things, there was a lot of weird shit down there. And we didn't really have much to actually, like, comprehend off of. So we didn't really have that much to change up, especially considering the fact that, one, there was just literal stuff that was just down there and nothing was shown. <clears throat> and two, <clears throat> the second we went down there, it was just nothing but full on, full on, full on, nothing but full on, um mud blocks and everything else it was just nothing but that and it, it was it was kind of suspicious but we moved on from it so now um we had some stuff we had to buy we had to literally make new um blast furnaces because we had to get a couple more because we realized that we didn't really have um that much to cover all of the stuff that we had to smell over the last few minutes and uh as soon as we had everything smelted um we were ready to head back to the other parts of the cave but um, we had to make sure everything was set before we left. Um, because one thing for sure was that we, we did not want to make the same mistake we did the last video. Um, because one thing for sure was that, one, we fucked up and not 
in a funny way. We literally fucked up in one of the worst ways possible. If you guys don't remember what happened in that previous video, we let ourselves literally get stuck in that cave and not go to bed the entire time. We had cobwebs and all this stuff, and we completely forgot that this was a thing. So apparently, we just forgot that entire thing. Um, but also, we uh, realized another problem. Um, yeah, we're going to have to move. Um, we're probably going to have to make an underwater base. Why? Because we realize that these things are not going to leave us alone. Um, so we had to make sure um, we figure out a way to set that up. I'll have a talk with him about that a little later. We're going to do that off camera because we're going to have to move everything away from this part. Because we realize that since there's a bug, they're probably going to have this situation um, overhanded. So... Yeah, we have to sort that out on camera, but once we do that, we should be good. Um, but anyways, um, besides all that, um, we're not going to be moving specifically out of the area. We're just going to move a specific spot to where we need to have like an underwater base. So that way we don't like get fucking attacked by just them because this shit is just getting ridiculous. And we need to at least be closer to the caves than we were last time. So, um, once we come through um, and head back there, we should be good. Um, we don't really have much to, like, comprehend on any particular spectrum. Um, because everything else is just, like, attacking us from the feral wolves to literally the big boys. And that shit is just ridiculous we have so many of them fucking attacking us from both sides and it's getting fucking ridiculous we couldn't be fucking bothered to deal with them so yeah um we had to head to the caves early obviously um by the looking of the clip uh we did have to head there early um it was pretty rough it was pretty rough um and i wouldn't say that it was that way obviously because we were still trying to do our best to like comprehend everything and uh since we were heading back to the same ravine that we already went beforehand, um, we didn't really worry about it. And since we did literally come back as fucking werewolves, it was easy to take fall damage. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, we just fell asleep and then we just explored the cave. Um, and that was pretty much it. And uh, I think we had to finish from there because uh, my boy Antoine, his hands got fucking tired. Because this was like the second recording we did. And it was, um, it was pretty rough. So, um... I wouldn't expect us to do much because we were just um, doing our best to like keep everything in place. Um, and one thing for sure that like we did uh, did a ton of things uh, throughout this entire video. And uh, one thing for sure I will say this is that uh, while looking at this video, and if you guys still are sticking around <laughs> for my fucking talking, you would know that we are getting close to. 500 subscribers we're getting very very close and uh it looks like we're actually getting super super close and uh i wouldn't be surprised if we actually do walk right past it because one thing for sure is that uh that next video is going to be interesting for y'all and uh that video specifically is going to be <laughs> my fucking video setup video and it's going to be so 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 annoying it was good it's gonna be my gaming setup video and it's it's gonna be pretty pretty i would say pretty underwhelming but i wouldn't say it's gonna be too far because i haven't decorated shit on this thing so uh yeah um hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did make sure to leave a like also hit that subscribe button if you want new to the channel it has been zed everybody i will see y'all next time later Bye.